Hi hey everyone, welcome back to my next singing video here on YouTube and Facebook. <clears throat> Today I got something different for you all. It's a doo-wop song, how about that? <clears throat> it's another singer that I haven't done a song by before. He's actually a one-hit wonder. His name is uh, Curtis Lee. <clears throat> and I have to admit that this is not the first time that I've tried this song. I tried it once and <clears throat> for a practice run I thought, no, nope, I gotta do it again. <clears throat> not good enough, so. I'm going to try this thing again and uh, <clears throat> hope it goes better this time. <clears throat> this song here was uh, co-written by Curtis Lee. <clears throat> it was his biggest hit, his only hit, really in the top 40 that he ever had. <clears throat> he co-wrote it with Tommy Boyce, who wrote a, b a few songs for the Monkees in the 60s. That's what he was most known for, I guess. <clears throat> this song here that I'm going to do was released in June of 1961 on the Dunes label. <clears throat> it uh, entered the Billboard Top 40 on the pop charts uh, July 17th, charted for eight weeks and peaked at number seven. Uh, the backing vocals for this song were done by the Halos, who were a vocal group from Harlem, New York, and they had one hit that was a novelty hit <coughs> that was called The Nag, which I can't say that I've ever heard of before, but uh, it was uh, released in the same year as the song I'm going to do today, which was 1961, of course. <coughs> Uh, Phil Spector produced this song, known for his wall of sound. <clears throat> the B-side of it was called Gee How I Wish You Were Here, and it was never on an album. Actually, Curtis Lee never made any albums. He uh, had a pretty short career. <clears throat> Started about 1959, when he was uh, about either 19 or 21 years old, depending on what your source is you're looking at. And he got out of the business about 1968 and went to work for his father's construction company. And he uh, <clears throat> lived until 2015 when he died of cancer at the age of 73 or 75, depending on the source. <clears throat> and he wrote this song with Tommy, Bo Tommy Boyce called Pretty Little Angel Eyes. <clears throat> and I'm going to try this. <clears throat> this is my second try at it, so uh, it's a tough one, but I'm going for it. <clears throat> Here we go. One more song off of this here CD that I've been working on for a little while. Up to track number four now. Gonna skip a couple songs in the next while, but we're getting there. <clears throat> Wish me luck on this one, boys. Woo -hoo. Pretty, 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 pretty
I really love you so. Angel eyes, I'll never let you go because I love you, my darling angel eyes. y'all enjoyed that it wasn't too crazy for y'all <laughs> i sure enjoyed it <laughs> well see y'all next time probably about next f saturday or so <laughs> i gotta go back to work tomorrow and working pretty much all week so uh have a good week and we'll see you again <laughs> be here next time because i ain't even started yet have a good one bye now